If you're looking for a way to limit what content Copilot can find in your Microsoft 365 environment, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you a great feature called Restricted Content Discoverability. Now, this feature is exactly what you're looking for, so don't go anywhere, let's get into it. So first of all, what is this, this thing, the Restricted Content Discoverability? Well, it's a feature of SharePoint Advanced Management. Previously, uh, anything with SharePoint Advanced Management or SAM required a license for every user in your organization. But recently at Microsoft Ignite, Microsoft announced that they were including all of the SAM features in your Copilot for M365 licenses. So if you've got licenses already deployed, if you're planning on rolling this out to the entire company, you'll already have SAM ready to go. All you have to do is go into the, the SharePoint Admin Center and you'll find it in there. Now the purpose of this feature is to suppress content discovery by Copilot and Microsoft Search. So a good use case for this is content that hasn't been properly secured yet, but it does need to be locked down. Another use case is content that's overshared. So content that's been shared with like a large group of people, think everyone in the organization has access to, to files all over the place, and you do not have the time right now to go file by file and fix all of the permissions or site by site. But you do need to lock some stuff down so that people can't find this with Copilot because that is one of the big benefits of Copilot. It can find content that you don't know about. That's a good thing, but in this case, it can also be a bad thing. And that's why this feature is here. What this is gonna do is make it so that users cannot find that information either through Microsoft Search or through Copilots. I'm gonna walk you through how to enable this feature and what it looks like once it's all set up and running because it does take some time to set up. But there's also a lot of nuances to this feature with exactly how it works without preventing users that need and have access and use those documents without preventing them from finding those things because you can't just block everything um, and force someone to have to navigate to the file every time they need to access it. That's not a good user experience. And so this takes that into account, and you'll, you'll see what I mean when we start going through the demos. But let's just go straight into this thing. So I'm on a demo site right now, and I've got some different contracts in here. Let's say that this is the site that I want to lock down. I want to restrict who can find these documents. Well, right now, I can just search in this library and, and I can find things. I can go into Copilot and I can uh, find things just as you would expect because that's what they're designed to do. The feature hasn't been turned on here yet, so let's just do that now. What we're going to do is go into PowerShell, connecting to our SharePoint environment. And so we'll use connect-spo service because we're using the SharePoint online management shell. Then we're going to be running set SPO site, and then we will paste in the URL of the site that we're gonna be enabling this feature on, because it it's a site-by-site -site, uh, uh, setting. And then it will be the restrict content org-wide search flag. That, that's kind of a flag that's getting set on the site, and it'll propagate all down through all the files and everything inside that site as well. And we set that to dollar sign true because we need to pass in a Boolean value. So dollar sign true. And that's it. So what will happen is the next time there's a full crawl, which can take up to seven days, it's going to see that that flag is on all of the content on this site. And that's, that feature will now be enabled and running for this site. So I've got another site where this is already set up. Let's switch over to that site and see what this actually looks like, what it changes. So I'm on a different site now. This was already set up a, a week or two ago and it, it, it's, it's all ready to go. Now, another user has created files in here that we are gonna be searching for. But one thing you should notice right off the bat is I do have Copilot agents for SharePoint on my environment, which would normally be this Copilot button here that's that's on the Contoso sales site. Once restricted content discoverability gets enabled, 
this co-pilot button will go away. If you look at the SAM6 site here for, for the restricted content discovery, you will see that, that, feed, that the Copilot button is gone. So this is part of the RCD feature. Could the Copilot agent's functionality will be disabled on the site. Now at this point, if I were to go to the Microsoft search bar, I, I would not be able to find these files. Now as a good example, now if I'm in the library itself, I can see them if I type in Contoso projects, they do come up because I'm in the library where the files are. If I were to go to the SharePoint start page and I looked for Contoso projects, I don't find them. And that's because I haven't accessed that file myself. That it does not, it doesn't show up in my recent files listing. If I were to open up Word, for example, um, if it, if I were to open up a file, then it would start to show up for me. But because I haven't discovered the file and I haven't accessed that file, it's not going to show up for me. This is how it's hidden. The, the same if I go into Copilot and I say. Where are the Contoso project files? It's not going to know because I because the, the RCD feature is enabled and it's not going to let me discover where those files are because I haven't already found them on my own, essentially. So if part of my job was using those files and I've opened them up recently, Copilot will find that. If, I've, if it's not part of my job, and as a result, I've, I've never found those files, I've never gone to that particular site, I've never opened those files, if that's the case, it's never gonna find it. So this is how the RCD feature will work. This is pr pretty much the core functionality of this. Now, if I go back here and I open up the Contoso Past Projects file, so uh, there's nothing you know in here. It's just uh, some test files that I'm, I'm I'm testing with. But once I do that, now the Contoso Past Project files is in my recent files listing uh, in Word and in other places in Microsoft 365. If I were to search again for Contoso Projects, let me just refresh this. Now you see Contoso Pass Projects because while it is under the purview of the RCD setting, the fact that I've already opened the file recently, I've accessed the file recently, it bypasses RCD and lets me find the content that I need to find. So it prevents accidental oversharing really, really well th uh, through this method without limiting my ability to to find what I need for my job. The same with Copilot. If I go back to Copilot and I just copy this same prompt and ask Copilot again, where are the Contoso project files? The very first response, it's the Contoso past projects because I've accessed that file. So Copilot knows that the file is there. Microsoft Search knows that the file is there. But because of this setting, it's going to take into account whether I've accessed those files recently or not. Now, if a month or two goes by and I haven't opened those files up, they're gonna fall off of my recent files listing and then they'll be hidden again. I'll have to navigate back there and at least open the file up once or I can go back to the library where these files live and if I search for it there, I can still find it because I've, I've technically, I've sort of discovered the files because I've at least gone to the library where those files live. So if you're in that library, search will always work correctly. Once you're out of that library, out of that site, you're somewhere else in M365, that's when the RCD feature is really gonna become powerful. And it's gonna limit the ability for, for people to find content that they really probably shouldn't be finding. Now, there's a ton of great features in SharePoint Advanced Management, and if you've got Copilot deployed, you could begin using them right now. I've got a playlist covering all of the SAM features. I think there's only one or two that I'm missing, but I'm already working on those videos just like this one. So to get started learning more about SAM, just click or tap the screen, and I'll see you over there.